All right, what's up guys? Here's the first video in a new series I'm gonna be doing where I just post up a video of how to make a quick recipe. Today's the 12 minute athlete salmon uh, with some glazed bok choy. They're gonna be nutrient dense meals, they're gonna be cheap and they're gonna be easy to cook. Enjoy. All right, starting in the grocery store, you got bok choy, it's on sale. Everyone tells me eating healthy is expensive, but I'm pretty sure they're just doing it wrong. Here you can see the salmon is $13 for this beautiful fillet, nothing fancy. So I'm gonna clean my workspace here so I'm ready to rock. I'm gonna preheat my equipment so it's waiting for me, not me waiting for it. I've got a pan on medium, oven's at 450. I'll get everything in place here. There's actually a French saying for this, it's called mise en place. Uh, pretty much just translates to get your shit together. So I've got all my vegetables, I've got all my proteins in order, and I've got all my spices. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work backwards. Because I know the salmon's gonna take the longest, only 12 minutes, but it's gonna be the longest, so I'll set it up first. What I'm gonna do is get it on here. You could put parchment, I just use Pam. And then you're gonna season this, which is just a fancy way of saying, give it more flavor so it won't be boring, all right? So salt and pepper that bad boy, don't be shy, pop it in the oven, and like I said, this whole recipe is 12 minutes, so by the time this salmon is cooked out of the oven, everything will be ready to go and you'll be onto the table in under 15. With the bok choy, you really want to clean in behind these leaves, they do tend to be quite sandy, uh, so what I'll do is I'll just remove the root and split them in half before I give them a really good rinse. And I find that when I split them in half like this as well, they actually present really nicely. So once they're all cooked, you'll see they plate up beautifully and they actually add a little bit of flair so you can impress your friends and terrify your enemies with this. I'm gonna add a dot of canola oil to the pan. I use canola oil for this type of thing because it has a very high smoke point, meaning it doesn't burn easily. I'll quickly coat the pan with it and then I'll drop the bok choy in there and you should hear a nice sizzle here as these start to crackle and uh, get nice and colored. I'm not gonna crowd it too much. I want every bok choy to have a home. And here I am for all those meatheads who don't know what that is. That is ginger. And you could peel this, but I'm just gonna use a knife because I'm lazy. And I'm gonna do the same thing afterwards with the garlic. And using these aromatics in your cooking really can elevate a dish and make people think that you really know what you're doing. <laughs> Super simple, super cheap. Uh, add these things to your meals and you're gonna watch them uh, take shape really quick. Just crush the garlic with the back of the knife and it'll make it a lot easier to peel. Uh, that skin should just fall right off there. And then what you can do is just take this garlic and this ginger and just grate it into the pan. Um, and actually, here you can see that uh, bok choy is starting to get some nice color, depth of flavor. And we're grating that garlic. Boom, dead easy. Yeah, you could slice this, sure, but I'm just lazy and I get a really good pump when I do it this way. So grate that in there. Next up, we're gonna add some chili flakes. These are optional, but uh, if you want a little bit of extra chest hair and you want your dish to be to the next level, add them, they're delicious. And then make sure every bok choy is coated and has a home. Take yourself some yellow potatoes, super delicious, super filling. Poke some deep holes in them and throw them in the microwave for five minutes. That easy. As those are in the microwave and salmon's in the oven, next up you're gonna add some soy sauce to the outside of your pan. What this is gonna do is it's gonna begin to cook down. And that's gonna increase the depth of flavor on this soy sauce and it's gonna start to thicken the soy sauce up so it grabs onto your bok choy a little bit better and that's what you want. Next you're gonna take some sesame oil, that toasty, deep, delicious flavor, and you're just gonna add a little drizzle of this. You don't have to go insane with it. Uh, just a little bit goes a long way. Just coat that all like so. And now you've got a nice syrupy, delicious sauce to go on your bok choy and just coat it up. You can saute like a chef if you want. This is what we're after. Now your salmon should be pretty much done. And once you hear the oven go off, you'll see it's been 12 minutes. You can pull that thing out of there and you'll see that it's nicely cooked. And your bok choy should be ready to rock. Just slice your potatoes, season them with some salt and pepper, and plate it up. And bam, in under 12 minutes, I mean, you're looking like a pro. And not to mention, this is going to keep you working harder on game day, inside the gym, outside the gym, wherever you may be. Thanks for watching.